Green in Garden, Fresh on Table. Welcome to Asian Garden to Table. Hyacinth bean is a fast growing and flowering vine with bright purple flowers and deep purple pods. It can be grown for its beauty or in mature beans as vegetable and widely grown all over the world. In Asia, hyacinth bean is one of the most popular vegetables from summer to autumn. Hyacinth bean is warm weather vegetable. The proper temperature is 68 to 82 degree. Temperature higher than 95 degree will cause flowering and fruiting problem. Hyacinth bean is short day plant. In summer, when temperature is high and daytime is long, hyacinth bean tends to grow vivid vines instead of flowers and fruit. So it is very important to choose the right time to grow according to your local climate. At temperature higher than 60 degree, hyacinth bean can sprout. Like other beans, hyacinth bean cannot stand water logging. It is not necessary to soak the seed before sowing or you may drown them. Sow the seeds in seed starter. Keep potting mix light to medium wet. It takes three to four weeks for hyacinth bean to grow four to five leaves and develop vines. Transplant the seedlings in soil. Plant hyacinth bean at a sunny place next to a strong trellis. Two to three plants should be plenty for family consuming. In tropical area, summer is hot and daytime is long. Hyacinth bean will grow very heavy leaves and vines and cover up a big area on trellis. If you do not want vine take over your garden, don't hesitate to trim some off to keep the plant neat because they can grow back easily. When temperature drops under 86 degree and daytime gets shorter at the end of summer, hyacinth bean will start to develop flowers. In subtropical area, where daytime is shorter and temperature is not so high, late spring to summer is a great time to grow hyacinth bean. Or in tropical area, start hyacinth bean at the end of summer. In this way, hyacinth bean will grow flowers much earlier. As soon as it climbs, you will see some flowers grow out from petioles. You can direct the vines and prune them to keep the plant neat and productive. Here is what I do for your reference. Keep the string about one foot apart. Direct two to three vines onto a string. There will be many new vines grow out from the root, so you can keep as many as you want if you have enough growing space. When the vines reach the top of trellis, remove the tips, so the nutrients will focus on flowering and fruiting. At the same time, side vines will also grow. Keep three to four leaves on side vines and remove the tips. This will encourage flowers to grow from the side vines too. From now on, hyacinth bean start its flower blowout. These bright purple flowers bloom tirelessly and present its beauty generously. At the same time, some beans stretch out quietly. In a couple weeks, more flowers come and go and finally get fewer and fewer. The beautiful deep purple beans become chubby and eye-catching. It will be a great scenery in your garden. Young hyacinth bean pods can be picked to eat as vegetable. Although they look like peas, their textures and flavors are very different. The pods have an unignorable beany flavor and soft texture because raw bean contains cyanogenic glycoside, which can be slightly poisonous. You should fully cook hyacinth bean before eating it. When the weather gets cooler, hyacinth beans' leaves turn yellow and falling. In the area with a warm winter, you can keep the plant and it will grow back in springtime. Or you can remove the plant and start over from seed again next year. Usually when hyacinth bean face back, it is time to grow cool weather vegetables. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.